like that's it that's all you have to do that's all you have to do pretty fucking sweet No cheaters. Played a lot of cheaters today. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Did you have that? Uh -huh. Did you have that banana? You okay, I love you. Oh, really? It didn't come out good? Okay, I'll try it. Okay. Yeah, love you. Ten seat theater? No, dude, they have them. It's. I'm telling you, it's very nice. It's basically like you can have the benefit of being in like a movie theater and having like the nice sound system, like the extra nice sound system, right? And everything. But you also don't have to deal with anybody you don't know. I mean, if you really want, you know, just all in out like that, you could even get one of the 10 person and little 10 person theater things. And you could just go with you and like, you know, your family. That's it, your immediate family. You know, a couple extra empty seats, but. Hmm. It's very affordable if you get people to come with you. If you like, if I was gonna see a movie again, I'd probably get in the theater. I'd probably get my family and friends to come and do like a ten or twenty person like mini theater. And this way, you're just paying regular ticket prices. You're just paying regular ticket prices, but you get your own private theater experience. And then fuck them. Still sneak stuff in, chat. Don't give... Don't give the theaters your money. I always buy, like I said, popcorn and pop. I'm buying it there. But everything else is getting smuggled. Insertion in 10 seconds. Five seconds to go. Yeah, dude. I have a baby now. That means we have Down diaper bomb. bags. We can, we can, dude, we can fit meals inside of there. I got in here, but uh, we're here. Oh. Thanks, honey. I, I don't need that, dude. I'll, I'll eat it no matter what. My garbage is full. <laughs> Love you. Night. Love you, honey. Mm. What? I should. Okay, dude. This guy shoots the wall and then just fucking aims at me right through the wall. Okay. Wonderful. Cisco killer. They give you this up the psycho sticks.
Oh my god. I don't know why I'm falling for this trolling right now. There's no way this is not trolling, but I'll bite. I don't like dealing with people or theaters, but I talk about theater deals. Yes, the thing I don't like about the theaters are people waiting in line. When you, when you buy 20 tickets for you and your family and friends, well, you know, all the tickets are pre-purchased in advance. Food's pre-purchased. Everything's pre-purchased. You just fucking walk in the theater and everything's there. Drop the diffuser. You avoid having any people you don't know in the theater with you. Mm hmm Which is the thing that blows. That's like the second time in a row again, it's just straight up shot through a fucking solid wall by somebody in the like last two games by someone who's like a really fucking low level. Mm -mm -mm. We need to locate a bomb. I think I have to ban this man. Right about enough. I can't deal with someone this stupid in low IQ. Can't. Alright. Enjoy your eight hours bot. It was it was it was fun. It was fun making fun of you for being a moron. But and I can't deal with the stupid takes anymore. It was funny for a little bit, but that old. My guy's definitely just trolling. There's no way there's someone that's that stupid. Is such a squirmy little shit. Fuck you! Fuck you! Dude, I'm telling you guys, Lion DMR. <clears throat> Heavily slept on it's so good. How many people have the account? You? Uh, anybody can do it, just streamer mode. We need to locate a bomb. You just make your name you, so that people don't know what your actual name is in game. That's all it is. Am I level 669 yet? No. Getting close. Getting close. 
Mm-mm-mm. I think I'm like 660. Your drone has found a bomb. I wonder if there's anything cool for hitting level 700. By the way, you know what's fucked by the chat? So when you hit level 500, your game and level does this cool Five thing seconds. where your your level gets is rainbow. Proceed to bomb's location and defuse it. I hit level 500 so long ago that that wasn't even a fucking thing. I got rid of that moron. I, I, it was just like too much. It was like, it was just like too many like really poor attempts. I feel like. Who puts a fucking frost mat here, dude? Who puts a fucking frost mat here? Ash, pick me up! Help! Ash! Help you, buddy, I'm down! Help! No, she's crouch walking away! Ash! Help! Okay, I'm dead. One friendly. Average Ash player. Literally crouch walks fucking past me and watches me die. Fucking bait. Op four eliminated all friendly. Mm -mm. At the gym? I'd rather not. Ugh. I'd rather just eat food. The ash was immersed? I guess you could say that. Like, I put thought into his trolling. Eh. I knew he was trolling the whole time, but I don't know. Kind of fun. But he just kept like rehashing the same thing over and over again. It got boring. That's all. Will the Lions win tomorrow? Probably not. They fucking blow. Uh -uh. I think he was a legit crazy person. Um, I mean, there's always like a small chance, but I doubt that. There's no way anyone's that stupid. I guess I should not say that. But there's always someone that can be that stupid. He had some valid takes. Okay.
of shit on. Mars got to be up there. Beep, 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 beep. How long till Siege dies? It's already dead. Um, the stream doesn't exist, and this game that I'm playing right now doesn't exist, so you can just move along. be a muscular grandpa um oh I, I actually have been meaning to work out like at least just to be for health you know purposes but I'm lazy. And the thing is, like, I'm not, like, overweight or anything. I need to probably lose, like, 10 pounds, but... Protect the bombs. Nothing too crazy. Chop my bork. Been a 12-month one for your reset. Welcome back. So I've kind of been lazy about it, but... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, dude, I mean, I... Uh, for, for those that don't know, I used to be, like, ex in extremely fucking good shape. Like, I had a fucking eight pack I was literally ripped as fuck. I've shown pictures and stuff on stream before, but... I basically injured my shoulder and just like, I don't know, I just am fucking out of shape. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, that's, my plan is to do, like, you know. My plan is to do, like, more sustainable stuff, like, nothing, you know, too crazy. Um, that's, like, my plan. You know, just, you know, run a little bit on the treadmill every day, nothing too, nothing too wild. You know, like a 20 minute run, 10, 20 minute run, better than nothing. Lift some weights. I'm reloading. How, are, how are you alive? How are you alive? Okay. That's all, that's all I wanted to do. That's it, you know? That is that is the goal, just to be a little bit healthier. Just to be a little bit healthier. Um, a bike. Oh, dude. If you're gonna get a bike, state sales. Workout equipment goes dirt cheap. My friend just got a Nordatrack treadmill. In a stairmaster, um, for I think like six hundred combined for Nordic track. I mean, they were like they were like seven or eight years old, but they were in great condition. Oh. Fucking steel. Op 
four, last operator standing. Hit workouts. I've tried them before. Shit like P90X or whatever. Workout equipment's always in great condition because no one uses it. That's actually very true. Mine's in great condition for that reason. I'm telling you, dude. I've gotten so much fucking nice shit from estate sales, it's crazy. Do yourself a favor. They post most of the contents of the sale online. Go on the last day. You need big, heavy shit that's expensive. Workout equipment, furniture. You'll get, like, crazy, crazy fucking insane deals on stuff. Like, you save, like, fat... Dude, I got a fucking... I got a, uh... My, the piano that I got is like a fucking eighty thousand dollar piano. I paid three grand for it. I mean, that's like full price new at a fucking Here's store. But you know, even still, it's probably like thirty thousand easily for the piano that I got. I paid three grand for it. I did get a used house. Fuck yeah, save money, dude. More sponsorship. Uh, you can still use the link activation point VPN if you want to sign up for it. I think the deal's just still going. going you can check, though. Everything, dude. Everything, every, like, estate sales are fucking OP. Mirrors, you can get fucking really nice mirrors for fucking cheap. People with, like, nice homes, they sell, like, they have, like, designer mirrors from, like, like, like really high-end name brands that are thousands of dollars, and you can pick them up for fucking pennies on the dollar. I had a gun with more ammo, I killed both. Oh well. What's a designer mirror? Like a, like a name brand mirror. Like, um, I got like, a, there's a brand called Por Chow. Uh, and the mirror that I got is like, I don't know, it's like $800 when I looked it up. And I paid 25 for it at an estate sale. Actually just like, like this fucking weekend. Today. <laughs> so. State sales are fucking OP. Like fancy woodwork and stuff like that. That's what you're, you're paying for the name brand and like fancy woodwork and shit. Located by Op 4. Mm -hmm. 4K reception quality sure does. One friendly operator remaining. Mirrors. No, expensive near mirrors are nicer. For sure. You're mostly paying for the name brand and the woodwork. But it's always a ripoff. Buy them used. They're fucking way cheaper. Always buy used for that shit. Unless you just don't care about your money. But they are fucking way nicer. Designer mirrors are like alienware. Dude, the glass on them is so fucking thick, and there's no, like, ripples in any of the reflections. It's a perfect reflection. Intricate hand-carved woodwork. It's very worth it. It's not worth it to pay for, like, fucking $2,000 for a mirror, but if you get a $2,000 mirror for $100 in an estate sale, it's worth it. I do like mirrors a lot. Yeah, they're nice, dude.
The glass on designer mirrors is like this fucking thick. Remember, it was like paper thin on like a mirror that you get from like Walmart. The woodwork, the detail, it's fucking very worth. Don't ever pay full price from though. Because that's not worth. <laughs> but yeah, there's always like lots of deals on those. How is a thick mirror worth? It's kind of cool, so. Or when you think of a mirror, you just think of a flat mirror, right? So, when you have a mirror that like, has really thick glass, they can actually design the glass. So the glass will either be like bumped out and like fluted down on the sides and stuff and like angled down on the sides. Or they'll have like designs made in the glass. Like there's a whole lot of like really cool stuff that they could do with like the glass work. Moving those thick mirrors will be hectic. No, it's not. I have a pickup truck. I have straps. I put it in the back of my pickup. I put a blanket underneath it. Put a blanket over it. Strap it down. It doesn't move. I moved a bunch of them. Because I have like probably five or six mirrors in my house. All of them from estate sales. And uh, all of them are like really nice high-end designer mirrors that I paid less than 50 bucks for. Fucking ugly as shit, really you are. I did not even see that guy. How do you move him inside your house? Um, I mean, I just get somebody to help me. Like, I get, like, my brother-in-law to help me or whatever. One of my brother-in-laws. Some of them I can carry by myself, even. have all dead old people stuff in my house um honestly most of the time i mean they might just be lying but most people are just moving out of state so like when people move out of state they just sell everything generally speaking if they're like well to do right so if you drive around like the nice areas of wherever you live go there and it's either dead people like people do die or it's like people are moving out of state but yeah you can get like good tools too yeah like you can get old school american made craftsman tools like, like, those are fucking nice, dude. We're sure gonna just give everything away for cheap because they can just afford everything and get them. That's, that's seriously what it is, yeah. Like, people... Dude, I've been to houses before, like, really fucking nice houses. Got good deals and stuff. Um, and so it's like, once again, for real part, just like kind of getting here. And estate sale is not an actual estate. It's just someone selling the full contents of their home, basically. So they may have died or they might be moving to another house or they might be moving out of state or whatever it is. That actually happened with like, um, like a bunch of different houses that I've seen and stuff like that. Like people are just fucking like, they make money. And like they have a lot, they have a lot of money, and they're complete. They want to really, they want all new furniture, everything for their new house. They sell everything. They sell everything in their old home. Friendly, last operator standing. Op four eliminated all friendly. Well, I mean, just think of it like this way, right? If there's like, um, your uncle owns a furniture moving company, people leave thousands of dollars worth of furniture all the time. You get a really nice bed. You have to take a road trip to the hills of California and get some stuff from people leaving California? Yeah, dude. I mean, you should. I'm telling you guys, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy, the shit people like. Think about it like this, right? Like, let's say there's a fucking dentist, okay, who's making like two or $300,000 a year, and they're fucking 70, and they're downsizing their house, okay? So they probably have a really fucking nice home. They've been making fucking great money for 40, 50 years, right? They don't give a fuck. They're 70 years old. You know, they're moving to a different house. They're moving out of state, whatever. They fucking, they, they have all 
nice designer furniture, designer mirrors, des like every like a badass stuff, and they just they just sell it for whatever. It's literally it's literally like a sell all fucking type of sale. Everything must go. And they just want to have it out of their hair, and they want to recover as much money as like they can. But whatever that is, that is, you know. They're not ultra concerned about it. How do you get this charm? Play map. There's an exercise on the front page. You play it three times, and they give you a. Ten seconds to insertion. Somewhere in here. I don't know where though. There it is. No! Fuck! If I had the Keratos, I win that. a nasty three-piece. I know, I just whipped. Get all the raw stupidity.exe. Good old raw stupidity.exe. Third kill. Well, it didn't happen. Because I'm fucking bad. Okay, where are they gonna fucking be? They're gonna be upstairs. I'm gonna fucking grenade somebody. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Drone has located a bomb. Ten seconds to go. I'm actually doing really. I feel. I felt like I was like not doing well this game, but I'm somehow twelve and six. I thought I was fucking getting dumpster. Stars match next year. Um, dude, <clears throat> my old ass would break my fucking like would break bones trying to play in some football league. I would need like I would need it to be like flag football or something. That'd be about the only way that I would like not be fucking. So lit.
Dude, AI bots are fucking crazy right now. By the way, have you seen all these, like, artists that are molding their fucking nuts off because, like, AI are winning art competitions? Honestly, dude, AI art is fucking cool. It really is. Second channel game? Why not? Why not, chat? This is the second YouTube channel. Make sure you're subbed if you're on the second YouTube channel. Thank you very much for always watching. Uh, uh, uh. An, an IRL R6 match? It lasts very long. I'm just throwing it out there. Yes, AI art is really fucking cool, dude. It's very fucking cool. It's I'm not gonna lie though, it's funny seeing artists molding over like AI, like making better art than they are. It's fucking hilarious. Well the funny thing is that artists Artists were always the people that were like 